Hello, beta testers. <laughs> I don't get the face change. We got a baby face Peter who's in his late 20s now. And an MJ who had a baby face is now a 35 plus year old looking woman with this new face model. It's just jarring and lacks consistency. I'm surprised Miles even stayed the same. Well, Miles is a person of color. Uh, black don't crack, as they say. They're free from the scrutiny that Western developers focus cleanly on natural women. Redheads screwed again. Another comment reads, she looks fine, but it's weird they totally changed how Peter and MJ look. There's always hope that things turn normal again. Why do they keep changing the models every game? She looks pretty old. Is there a big time skip between games? She looks 35 plus. This response is just a picture of the Chinese knockoff looking Black Widow from that nightmare Marvel's Avengers game that Crystal Dynamics mixed up. A game so bad that it ruined the profitability of Guardians of the Galaxy, a game by another studio. Big noticeable jaw. This a new model because there's no way she's still mid. Someone says that she looks similar to this actress I've never heard of. But look at that face. That's what you associate with Mary Jane, right? I guess it is, if you're a Western developer. This person writes, So they're cousins now? Even IGN can't ignore the confused reception to this blatantly different Mary Jane, asserting that it's the same, it's the same actress. <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> it's it's identical <laughs> it's accurate a comment reads if that's the case the actress aged horribly and you can guess the sentiment of people who speak other languages and gather in places to discuss and share opinions outside of the politically correct approved opinions why does mary jane look like an old whore with no eggs perhaps one of my favorite comments how am I supposed to breed with no eggs, no eggs, no eggs? If I may coin a blackism and do my own thing, Mary Jane shouldn't just be fine. You know what I mean? She should be fine. Mary Jane's face model looks to have undergone a fair change between Spider-Man 1 and Spider-Man 2. Top comment in this thread is, man, Peter got way younger and MJ got way older. I wish their character models were just consistent. This is their second whole ass transformation. The faces of her and Peter Parker looked way better in the original PS4 version. No idea why they felt like changing them. Hopefully they leave them lame-ass MJ missions behind from the first game too. Just the thought of doing them keeps me from replaying that game. You're telling me the entire bone structure of your face doesn't change every few years? The response to that actually reads, depends on the budget. The responses below the top comment in this thread paint a very clear and concise picture as it pertains to the sentiment from fans. Man, Peter got way younger and MJ got way older. It's impressive. They changed both characters and made them both look significantly worse than before. Um, how's it worse? I feel she looks more human now. Peter's hair looking disheveled looks nice too. Oh man, thirst. I just wish she sort of had like a small stubble or something. She looks at least 10 years older than Peter. If that's what they're going for, you know, I, I guess it works. And then they imply she only looks bad in that one shot, and it's cherry picking. Wrong, you know, wrong. Why we gotta do this? 
<laughs> These, of course, are the same people cheerleading for censorship. How easily a, a picture from Project Eve or Stellar Blade, as it's known now, a sexy anime girl or Hogwarts Legacy, absolutely filters them. Recently, a revisioning for Mortal Kombat's Tanya was unveiled for the... For the upcoming Mortal Kombat game. Mm -mm -mm. My reaction? Woof. As a black man, I get to make it clear that, you know, there have been some very pretty... I, God forbid, right? God forbid girls be pretty in 2023 for modern audiences. Gotta lower that bar. But I know how they'd sooner give like a trans MTF... POC, the ability to be cute, sexy, or feminine presenting, you know, normal, you know. To be frank, I'd have preferred Deborah Wilson. At least they'd capture her likeness properly. Weird, they really got a they really got a handle on things. I guess I guess when you practice enough you can catch up to the Japanese. It's crazy. They never seem to map her big titties in them games though, you know what I mean? There's this clip of her where she's saying, I'm Drew Barrymore, you know. It's a good clip. In continuing with the modern gaming trend of flattening, covering up, and deliberately downgrading exclusively women, the reaction to Tanya could be... Re I could sum it up in a word. Tepid. Like, uh, lacking enthusiasm, lukewarm. Like, subscribe, and comment or correct me below, but I consider this hilariously exhausting. The cookie-cutter response from shills and apologists going, It's not that bad. Not that bad. You know? Clearly you haven't seen a real woman. Just go fap. I've coomed more interesting things than these people. If the best argument they've got is, Uh, it's called aging? Then I'm glad we're in agreement that you perceive and recognize aging specifically afflicting the female in the scenario a hell of a lot harder than it has the man. The internet reacted appropriately to the new Mary Jane, to Tanya, and the same people claiming they don't understand, they never understand. Remember back with Saints Row? Remember back when I was saying, hey, look at how the internet's reacting to Marvel's Avengers. Look at how they're reacting to Sushi Squad. Look at how they're reacting to Saints Row. I don't understand. What did it change? It doesn't change how people feel. Post-op Mary Jane? You know, what better way is there to say, I don't need no man, than to have her become a man? Hmm? I initially wanted MJ to take a dirt nap to motivate Parker to the dark side. But now they might as well just transition her like they probably want her to. Emotionally dead works too. The chin is the limit. Rockstar Games, if you're listening, please God. Don't ugly up women in Grand Theft Auto 6. Say no to Larry Fink's money. We were cool. You put a you put a casino in your game and we just acted like it was, you know, no big deal. We give us jiggle physics. The NPCs have them. Yes, I have a clip for that. Yes, I do. The NPCs are more attractive than the characters you can play as. What are you thinking? Do you have any idea how much more clothing you'd sell? All of us would be playing as the finest. We'd want to be acquainted as we as men would enter into in-game reality TV shows and be the baddest on that damn show. Whew. You could corner that market. You could, you could, you could grab those VTubers by the titties. Come on. Listen, I wanted a Ghost of Tsushima Legends type DLC to inevitably come to Spider-Man or Wolverine so we could be sexy heroes together. But it's looking a lot like, just like in the Barbie movie, only the guys can have fun. The girls need to apparently sit their ass down and receive them lectures, you know what I mean? Maybe it'll lead to a better future. Maybe you're your own worst enemy. I'm just kidding. What does that mean? <laughs> Spider-Men and women. But just not pretty Spider-Men. Or pretty Spider-Men, but not pretty Spider-Women. Mortal Kombat about to learn a lesson. A Disney lesson, you know what I mean? A Bud Light blockbuster target lesson. <laughs> one like equals one jiggle. Thank you for watching this far. I totally wrote my thoughts down, and this was not more schizo than normal, okay? Wishlist linked in the description. Go ahead and 
go judge me for that. And if you're if you're a big shot, then you could just, you know, get the whole thing. You wouldn't feel it because you're a big deal. You know what I mean? I love you. I'm kidding. You're a big deal regardless. But you, you know, right? My favorite thing about a bad redesign is that sometimes you got to tell people what this is. Can you do worse? If you had seen the images of Tanya and Mary Jane and not been told who they were, you couldn't have guessed. You couldn't have guessed.